Thank God for bringing me here in this community and made Boss Fellas as an instrument to finally achieve my longest dream to become a virtual assistant. And why Phyllis is um, God's instrument for me because she got my back and I consider her as my backbone. If without Phyllis, I'm sure I am jobless now or maybe I'm still working in a corporate world. So I'm very, very thankful to you, Boss. Well, um, as you know, Phyllis's skills with her VAs has just been phenomenal, um, helping out businesses grow in almost every facet. So this will be short, concise, and we want to make sure we add enough value for everyone so we can go away with something that you can instantly implement into your business and also to pop some curiosity points for how to increase your profits by a nonprofit. So first, just to give you a little backstory, I want to let Joe take the lead on that so you know who we are and what we've done over the past two years so you can understand where we're taking this to. So Joe, if you want to take it away and just give him a brief overview, I'd love it. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Adam. And thank you, Phyllis. We love being here. Also, we're live on Facebook for everybody. We wanted to get this out to as many people as we could. Um, so hello, Facebook. Hello, everybody. And uh, so, you know, over the last roughly two and a half years, um, my wife and I have been entrepreneurs. We started our own sales training consulting business called Always Good uh, and eventually got to a point where we realized that wasn't really where our passion was anymore. Anybody else ever have that happen? You're, you're doing something, you realize, yeah, that's not yeah. really my passion. And, but there was this thing. I knew that I wanted to work with nonprofits. I just didn't know how to do it. And then this amazing opportunity came around when I was basically a free agent, had decided to move on from doing the sales training, but what were we going to do? Didn't know. And I went to this amazing event called Secret Knock in California. And then after that, went to Elevate, which was absolutely amazing. And uh, from there, I, I met a, a wonderful woman who told her story, which was both beautiful and horrible at the same time. And I decided to, to go to her charity gala in Dallas, which then ended up getting me on stage at Elevate. And I had two minutes to really tell the, the audience uh, who I was and... What, I, what my ask was. And so I did. I, I let my heart lead the way. And I said, I, you know, I, I, I have been working with businesses to teach them influence and sales, but I really want to work with nonprofits. I want to help them increase the amount of donations they're getting. I want to work with their fundraising departments. I want to teach them how to sell in a way that they'll feel like they've never sold a thing because they are all salespeople. Hint, hint, everyone's a salesperson. Uh, and then I called Adam. And Adam, what were you doing during that same basic period of time? Sure. So I'm um, working with a lot of different individuals doing strategic partnerships. And one of the key things that kept coming with a couple of my good friends was nonprofits getting mission to the masses and how to help people, giving back um, the lessons of gratitude and continuing. So I had some infrastructure with fellow partners, a couple of plats as well in the Tony Robbins community. And we partnered up. And then Joe called me basically the next day right after the stage and said, hey, Adam, I want to do this. And I said, dude, are you, um, you got wiretaps basically, because I'm, I've already done that. Let's do this together. And then nonprofit accelerators was born. Yeah, absolutely. So everyone just, I want you guys to stay to the end. Um, we're going to talk about exactly how we've helped at least 200 businesses with a hundred percent success rate, get $120,000 per year for life and Google ad spend. So that's $10,000 getting into your account repeatedly over and over again. So that's the main premise of what we want to do. But first, we want to add and ask a few questions of how to increase your profits. So, Joe, if you want to start talking about one of the main things with Google Analytics, that optics and measuring. I mean, that's like you said, Adam, you hit the nail on the head there, right? If you're not measuring it, you can't monitor it. And what you inspect is what is respected. And if you're not inspecting the traffic on your site, which you can do for free, Google Analytics is free. I mean, does anybody else know that, that it's free? I mean, it's totally free and they give it to you because you need it. I mean, granted, they, they want you to see where the optics are so that you know where to invest your time and money so that you can make your website profitable through Google. They want that. So they give you this wonderful tool that gives you everything. You'll know where everyone comes from, all this fun stuff. 
And if you don't have that set up, you don't know how to do it, don't worry about it. We're going to tell you how to get the step-by-step instructions for that too. Um, but it is extremely important. Right. Well, and then there's also your uh, Google My Business page. I don't know about any other business owners here, but when I first heard that it was available, I thought, no, really? I can get ranked on Google Local for free? For free. Yes. Yes, you can. If you don't know how to do that, again, we're going we're gonna to tell you how to do that. We'll give you a step-by-step for you later. That's some of the things that are coming. But really what this is more about is, is really how do, you, how do you get that extra gift by giving more, by giving the gift of, of charity, by having that philanthropic arm in your business, how can you utilize that to massively increase the profits you have and massively increase the amount of good you get to do? I mean, I don't know about you. I mean, for me, that's fun. What about you, Adam? Do you find that to be fun? Absolutely. I mean, that's huge. Getting it out. That's why we wanted to start with making sure your optics are on point. So obviously, a lot of you are veterans in the game that have your Google Analytics installed. If not, we'll give you the easy step-by-step that you can accomplish it right away. Then like Joe was just mentioning, Google My Business. No matter if you're a brick-and-mortar location or an online presence, having that up there. Um, I don't know what you guys, but I think the stats are continually raising in regards to about plus 90% of what you go to to get your information is controlled by Google. So why not go where the plethora of people are already doing or where they're congregating? Put the hook in there and fish with it. So put your, so if you have the optics on what you're doing and how people are coming, now you're up there with your Google My Business. This is where it comes fun, like Joe was just talking about the charity side. A lot of us have the hearts in giving, but they don't know how to. Or we're donating to something, but there's so many extra steps and we don't have a lot of time to put in the work for creating a nonprofit or getting that extra sign. We don't even, we even haven't even touched on in a second the tax advantages, as you know, what that means for you as well. Absolutely. So Joe, if you, you want to break down what we do with the system, what does it include? How does it work? Uh, is this, should I jump into the presentation now? Is that what you're saying, Adam? Is it, is it time for me to share my screen and jump into the presentation? Yeah, let's yeah. do it. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and get that going. All right, here we go. So, of course, you know, we are nonprofit accelerators and we are positively impacting one billion lives. That is our mission. That is what drives everything that we do. Uh, and how we do that is nonprofit accelerators. Mission is to positively impact a billion lives by delivering the VIP experience to nonprofits. We accelerate their vision, impact, and purpose. We are the shepherds of good. We are the shepherds of impact, and we are the shepherds of generosity. So uh, VIP experience is vision, impact, and purpose. We do not have clients. We have VIPs because we are helping everybody accelerate their vision, impact, and purpose. And we say we accelerate nonprofits because we also help create more nonprofits, not just helping existing nonprofits get this access to this grant, but we also help entrepreneurs that are already heart-centered do the same thing. We kind of told you about who we are, but this is, again, a brief overview. Combined, we have 50 plus years of experience with our team, and we're bringing really the things that nonprofits need to have to function like a for-profit business, we help them do that. Because we have that experience, we know what it takes, but we can also help, again, entrepreneurs get this same benefit. If you're already donating, like Adam was saying, you have a tax advantage when you donate. We all know that, right? Part of the reason why companies donate is to get a tax break. Same thing for, pre- for people. But what if you could build that into everything that your company does so that it's the core, even if you're already doing it, and you don't have a nonprofit that's then donating to other nonprofits, you're missing out on this. I mean, it, I mean, again, $120,000 a year as a business owner, I want that for free for life. I don't know any business owner who doesn't. And again, as we're talking about our gifts to you, we'll give you the step-by-step instructions on how to set up your Google My Business, how to install your Google Analytics if you don't already have this done. And there's one more, but we'll get to that later. So what are some of the things people have said about what we've helped them do? I'm not going to go through and read these word for word. I don't, like, I don't like it when a pre- presenter does that, reads every slide word for word. So I'm not going to do that. But I want you to take a moment and read what some of these wonderful people have said. Right? I mean, just simple things like, like not having the resources to do it. We help you do that. 
you know, it tripled. You know, anyone else want to triple their sales growth? Of course. I know I do. And so what's the Google grant program? Here's what, what we build. This is what comes with it. There's a lot more detail and we can go in. We'll go into that when we have our discovery calls. But right now, I just want you to think of these things as being like the core of it. The Google grant. So you have $120,000 per year in free advertising. That's $120,000 you can use in your business for something else. We'll build the landing page and the thank you pages for you, the full sequencing, all notifications, the strategy, the support, a whole lot more, including making sure you stay compliant so that you never lose this money. Over 10 years, it's $1.2 million in free money. Well, I call it monopoly money, right? Because this is Google grant ad spend. So that means you can only spend it in Google ads. So it's like Google money or monopoly money, but you can turn that into three, four, 500,000 or more a year in real money, which is beautiful. I mean, th think about it. In essence, Google's financing your advertising for you. Like, do you want Google as a business partner without giving up control of anything? I do. And so and I want to ask services. I want to go in the Adam. I want you to take over from here. Absolutely. And I want to just ask everyone on the call, how many people are already spending money on advertising, whether it's Facebook ads, Google ads, et cetera, uh, cost per acquisition of our customers, cost per lit, click, click. I mean, all of the things that we want to do. So we have all heart centered missions to get more sales and more lifeblood in our company. Most of you are already spending at least a few grand a month on that to get your mission to the masses. If we're able to give you, and we have a hundred percent success rate, and I've said that again, a hundred percent success rate for 200 plus businesses, getting you $10,000 every single month in that advertising. So that eliminates that off your budget. So Joe, I want you to touch on that. Some of the numbers and breaking that down, as you just mentioned, you become an instant millionaire in ad spend within 10 years. It's for life. You're compliant with it. That's huge guys. This is where it really comes in the handy to get your mission out there. So when we have the success, we have a dedicated full team that builds again, those landing pages, that builds the follow-ups, files, all the paperwork, the IRS, everything we're on it consistently. If for any reason whatsoever, it does not go through, we fully refund the money. We say, thank you. We tried our best and we, we go on. But again, when we have such a guarantee with that and that consistent 10,000 ads spend can come in and get your message to the masses, supercharge your philanthropy arm and also feel good at the same time, it's combination. I mean, capitalism with giving, it doesn't have to be separate. It can be together in a cohesive effort. So just wanted to touch on that. Absolutely. As well. 100% there, Adam. And, you know, Phyllis, you pointed it out earlier for all of us. Tom's Shoes is a perfect example of having that mission, that purpose to help generate massive raving fans. I mean, you basically end up with disciples for them. Like people who love Tom's shoes, love Tom's shoes, and they own a lot of pairs. And they feel great when they wear them, knowing each one of these pairs gave somebody else that couldn't afford it in a third world country a pair of shoes. I mean, if everything's equal, if everything's equal, your company and another company, the skills you bring to the table, their skills, your abilities, their abilities, the company that has a a, a give back built in that purpose built into them will win more often than not. If you have to pick between two, I know I'm picking the company that gives back over the one that keeps it all. And if you're already giving back again, why not have it built into your business this way? So let's talk about that math, Adam. You were saying it's $120,000 yes. per year that you don't have to spend in Google ads. Now let's say that turns into $300,000 in revenue. So $120,000 of free money turns into $300,000 of revenue, real money. So that's $420,000. But here's the cool part. You also have $30,000 that are now being do donated directly through your nonprofit that become a tax advantage for your business. So you're now saving on that $30,000 for the taxes for your business as well. So that's really what? $450,000? And it's free money, $450,000 that you could add to your company by getting a free Google grant, by setting up a nonprofit to make sure that your company has that giving built into it. So the mission is there and you're, and you're there to help more people 
which will also increase revenue, which means you can hire more people, do more things, help more people. It's a beautiful circle. And that's just the start of the things that we do. We also help yes. save on merchant services. So I mean, do you not want to have to pay payment processing fees? Yes, I don't want to either, right? Optimizing, building it out so that you have an actual strategy. We have financial services. We have virtual assistants, which I know we teased this a little bit, but we also are building a certified virtual assistant program that is going to be launching with Phyllis to have a next level with your virtual assistants to help out even more so that you can do even more great things. I love our VAs. Thank you, Phyllis. I'm sure everybody on this call that has a VA feels the same way. And all the VAs on here probably love Phyllis too, right? We have charitable sponsorships that are built in with what we have. NFTs, if you don't know what those are, non-fungible tokens, we can talk about that again later too. Non-Google grants, if you'd like to get some actual money, money. And then we also have fundraiser items as well. But, I mean, those are just some of the things. There's so much more in detail. We don't have enough time to go into all that detail. And I think I'd probably bore a bunch of people if we did. So we're going to keep moving things forward here. Here's how you're going to get your free gifts. Scan this QR code right now. Grab your phone. Scan the code. Everybody's camera's got it built in. Go there. And you will be able to schedule your, your discovery call with us. We'll get you your free gifts. And Adam, do you want to let them know what that, what that last one? I'm going to stop sharing the screen right now. So I'm just going to give you one more moment, everybody, to, to get that, yeah. that code. You, you can leave it on there. You can leave it on there, Joe. That's absolutely okay. Also, if you can't scan it currently right now, have your personal VA assistant or yourself email VIP, and I believe our assistant Tony just put it in the chat, email us VIP at hello, excuse me, hello at nonprofitaccelerators.com. Subject line, down VIP. Yes, exactly. Thank you for that clarity. You will get the Google My Business PDF um, to make sure that's easily set up within by end of day business. Also, your analytics to make sure that's good as well. And also, if you do want an addition for optics to make sure you are ranking correctly, we, we can include a free website audit and analysis. That's very in-depth, gives you the full breakdown as well. And again, these are all just complimentary for being a part of Phyllis's team and joining us today. So VIP subject line at hello at nonprofitaccelerators.com. And what Joe was just mentioning, not only tax advantages, increasing profits by a nonprofit, I really want you to think in regards to the culture, what that does. And when you inspire and be able to really install and instill into someone that giving back feature of not making it a transaction, but basically an arm in arm transition together moving forward towards a goal. That's where things can massively change. I mean, if you really think about it, once you're not working and you're doing what you love, as we've all heard of that quote, it's not really working. So we try to do that and we have a success rate that has proven it to do it with you together. So please scan that now or go to that Calendly link, discover a call, or finally reach out to any of your VAs and we'll get that scheduled with you just to make sure we get everything taken care of on that front. Yes. And uh, Adam and Joe, real quick, um, you know, when we scan the QR code, there is three options for us. Business meeting with Joe, quick question and discovery call. Which one should we pick to get discovery the call? Discovery call. All yes, right. please. And, you know, Adam, you said we, we can all we can also include. No, no, we are also including the full website analysis for you. Right, so that's that's going to happen, and we will go over it on the discovery call. So if if for some reason when you book the discovery call with us, we are not able to have that analysis ready at that time because you book it a little faster than we can get it done, that's okay. We'll make sure that we have two discovery calls with you so we can go through it as well. Because I want to be able to walk through that with you. I know Adam does too. It's important to understand what those optics are. Because here's the thing: if you get all that Google grant money, or when you get it. And if your SEO is not ready, like the organic SEO, the stuff that's, that's naturally going to get you ranked isn't done right, then it's almost useless because it's not going to have the same impact. That's the beauty of it. You have to do both. And so we're going to make sure that you have both set up or at least know how to set it up. So that way you can make sure that when this grant comes through, you're ready to completely rock and roll. Agreed. And one key thing too, guys, I know a lot of you are busy. 
Uh, time is of the essence. Can I do this? I don't have enough time, etc. That's a lot of you probably are thinking. That's why we have a team in the background. We get the exact paperwork and that's how your assistants can help us out. We'll get the applied for the state, whether you're in um, anywhere in North America, we can get this taken care of, whether it's in Canada or the United States, United States wide. Each state has a little bit different, but our team has went through all the paperwork, understands it, make sure we get that going, wait the proper period of time. We've gotten this taken care of in as little as three weeks and others take 30 to 90 days to get everything going. So think about that moving forward into the end of your fiscal year or the end of the calendar year as well. If you want access to that money or take the money that you're already spending on ads and allow it to be gifted into the nonprofit. This is what we're talking about here, guys. So just again, email VIP to hello at nonprofit accelerators and schedule that call. So Phyllis, mm -hmm. do we um, want to ask any questions or open up a little Q&A for everyone? Yes, absolutely. If you guys have any questions, feel free to put it down here. Um, I did see that Brian has a question. Do you guys support us in setting up nonprofit? Yes, is the answer to that one. We, and in fact, we will actually help you set it all up. That's part of what we bring to the table for you is to make sure that nonprofit is set up and set up the right way so that it actually is funded through the business, which allows it to, to work with the Google grant to accelerate your business growth as well. So we'll make sure all of it's set up the right way for you to, to have that impact to get you that Google grant. And I'm gonna go one step further. Thank you, Joe. Um, with that too, is we have a VIP blueprint session with you, a uh, peer strategy on what your mission statement is as well. So it all correlates to how your landing page looks, how your follow-up looks, and everything is included with the three month setup too for you. So you are good to go with that. And everything that we create for the aesthetics, the email campaigns, the follow-ups, and the digital assets are all yours to keep with your brand. And it's all you guys to move forward. But yes, we do help everything out on the back end. Great question. Great question. Beautiful. Thank you for that. And um, there's a question here from Martha. Um, he, she cannot make it here today. But she said that, you know, would this help me save my animal rescue association? Yes. Yes, absolutely. I mean, I don't know any nonprofit or business that this will not help with $120,000 worth of free ads to spend. And again, because we know what we're doing and we can keep it to where we know we're going to also spend it. You know how many nonprofits I've talked to that have this grant already? And yet they're like, I can't seem to find a way to spend more than like two or $300 a month. You're, I mean, it, and it's not like it rolls over. It resets every single month. So it, if you're not spending it, it's again useless. And we make sure it's spent because we know how to make sure it's spent. That's so important. But yes, Animal rescue to answer too, the Joe. question. Like, I mean, you're, you're, you're a big dog father, right? here. You are the dog granddaddy of them all. I mean, with your two Rottweilers, that's, I mean, yeah. that's huge. And what was the main one that you're wanting to create for um, Hans Heroes? What, what's the Hano was our first Roddy. Hano. And um, yes, we will be creating Hano's Heroes as a personal nonprofit, not tied to the business. Uh, but that is something we do because, you know, I think Rottweilers get a bad name. They're one of the best dogs you'll ever meet. But people think they're aggressive and mean and they're big and but they're, they're awesome. Love them to death. And I just want to be able to help them because they, they, so many shelters just, they don't look at them in a good way. And a lot of places around the country, you know, they're, they're put down immediately kind of like pit bulls and things like that. So I really want to help a lot of what were considered the aggressive dog breeds. And that's what we're going to be doing. I love it. I love it. And um, I know that, uh, you know, a lot of our clients are realtors, right? Like, you know, Danny is hopping on, right? You know, as a realtor, what would you suggest a, a realtor, you know, or running a brokerage team, you know, in real estate, you know, um, how can they create, you know, what kind of nonprofit should they be creating to help them, you know, increase the profit margin and also, you know, use the grant to advertise their business? Um, you know, I have, a, I have a question to ask with that, if that's okay. Um, and so this, this was, is for everyone. And when you're asking yourself that question is, what is here? What's in your heart? What moves you? Because if it doesn't, and it's fake, it's not going to work. It's never going to work. So find whatever it is that moves you. I don't care what it is. It doesn't matter. 
but make it that. Love it. Absolutely. That's, that's huge. And, and think about the community based as well. If you're a realtor in those particular areas and you're able to help back the community in that, that gets you publicity, advertising, more goodwill, et cetera, to cross promote, use publicity to move forward and push it even that as well. But mainly I would just, I would go back to Joe, go to what is key to you and what you want to donate to. I mean, that's how it's going to speak from your heart and it's going to connect with your audience even more. When I mean, you guys have conversations with individuals that love what they do, and it seems like you're drawn in like a tractor being like, oh, yes, I like this. I don't know why. It's that energy because they're speaking from their heart, not their head. That's that's what it is. And I so I love, I just saw in the chat, um, help the homelessness. That's great. One of our, uh, that's, I mean, that's huge. That's incredible. Just had a friend um, did a video here about two weeks ago, and they ran upon, um, this was in Utah, a homeless guy that just got out of prison. Uh, it's freezing out there. Um, it's snowing. He, what he wanted and came up to us and asked, I wasn't there, came up to my friends and asked, all I want is a Bible. We literally went, they went to help get him a Bible, got some shoes, got some clothes. And I'm like, I can't put myself in that position of just thinking, where do I get my food? Where do I stay warm, et cetera. And there's so many other nonprofits out there that have, like someone who mentioned animal rescue to prisons to you name it. You know, the homeless, the, you know, I, I sit on the board of advisors for uh, the You Are My Light Foundation, which helps the victims of human trafficking after they've been rescued, which I, I found mm. is, is something that is, is overlooked sometimes. Like, I, okay, when you talk about like prison rates and recidivism, the people that go back in, it's worse for people who have been human, human trafficked. The, the more of them go back into the life because they don't know what else to do that it needs to be fixed. I mean, Operation Underground Railroad and other ones like that are doing an amazing job of getting people out of it, but it's the aftercare that's so important. And I love being able to sit, you know, to sit on that board to be able to help with that as we're, we're really fixing that problem. Um, and that is something that is one thing that's near and dear to my heart. But that's the beauty of what you can do with your nonprofit is set it up as simply a philanthropic nonprofit that donates to other nonprofits. So if you have five or six that you love, donate to all of them. That's the, again, the best thing is it just becomes more that you can share. And that's why I recommend myself is to set your nonprofit up for the business to give to other nonprofits. So you don't actually have to be the one implementing the work later, right? Just like you have a VA to do the stuff you don't want to do. I love all of the things that go into it. I also know that I'm the wrong guy to, to go and do the work. So I'm going to give to the other ones that have already implemented it, set it up the right way, have the infrastructure that I have vetted to make sure I know that the money's going to the right place. And then I don't have to be the one worrying about that side of it, which again, takes that off of me, just like the VAs do when it comes to work. These are some awesome questions. And I got to tell you in the chat, for those of you who, who are on Facebook and not here in the Zoom, the love that's coming through here, like the, the, the hearts that are in this room are absolutely amazing. All these different causes. It's so cool. And Phyllis, yes, let's set up a, a place where people can learn how to become a certified VA and that can't afford to do it on their own. That's awesome. Love it. It's just helping more people. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, any virtual assistant, do you guys have any questions? You know, can, uh, you know, do you have any questions on behalf of your clients or do you have any questions at all? You know, you can feel free to type it down below. Um, or just unmute yourself and ask. And I know that we have some business owners here too. So if you want to unmute yourself and ask questions or type it down below, whichever way will work. And I see that Samantha and Gary just joined us. And uh, Julie, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to ask. Um, and, uh, you know, while we're waiting for some of these questions, um, you know, I'm kind of curious, you know, you are obviously sending us some gifts, right? Some downloads. Uh, what are they? Like, what is in it? And if you can put out the slide while we are talking about the downloads, that I think that would be very helpful. What is what is the downloads? What are what are the gifts that you're, you're giving us? I'm excited to unwrap that that gifts virtually. <laughs> yeah, Absolutely. I can talk about it while you pull it up, Joe. Actually, I, I say, the Tony, can, Tony, can you do me a favor? Can you go ahead and pull the Google My Business uh, document up so everyone can see it? Awesome. See again, having a VA. What a wonderful thing. And also, I want to give credit to Tony. Tony created all of this. 
Tony is the one that created all of these. She put the, the presentation together for us. She helped create our logo for us. She helped do all these things. She is a rock star. Go ahead, Adam. You can start talking about it. Yeah, sure. And then uh, once we just briefly show and they get pulled up, just uh, leave it on the last page. So for the latecomers that are coming to it, um, so they can scan the QR code and also email the correct email. So it'll be a full breakdown, um, exactly how to set up your Google Analytics step by step. So you can either hand it yourself to take care of it or hand it to your VA to make sure your optics are on point. The second one will be a Again, another step-by-step -step of how to get Google My Business set up so you have organic searches in your local area so you can rank up at the top in your local areas for those people that are searching for your business and for your help already. Then the final one as a bonus, we're giving you a full website analysis, breaking everything down, um, whether it's to the speed, to the keywords, the optimization, to the source code on the back end. There's a long list some pages, some, some breakdowns for individuals have gotten to 30 pages and it's not just an audit, it shows you what to do. So you can go and do it. This is all uh, free. Uh, we don't, we're not looking for anything in return just to add value up front. We're strong believers in that as well. Well, no, we're at, we're, we're looking for your email address. That's the only thing we're really looking for up front is the email address. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a, other than that, it was all free, it up? Yes. Uh, Tony, did you get that pulled up? Can you share with everyone what the step-by-step -step breakdown looks like? Oh, it was there. <laughs> that was a sneak peek. Gotcha. <laughs> so this is how to cre how to create a Google Analytics account and then get that set up and tied to your website. Uh, that's going to be one of them that we send only nine steps and tony can you also show them the google my business one as well and then after that i think we do have a question in the chat as well so after tony shows that and then puts up the qr code we'll be good awesome thank you tony and here's how to create your google my business account you know, and like Adam said, it doesn't matter. If you're virtual, you don't have a brick and mortar business, it doesn't matter. You still want to be able to be pulled up locally, right? Again, it's the Google local will always be organic. It will always be organic. So if you're not taking advantage of this because you think you have a virtual business that doesn't need it, or there was a dentist that, that we were talking to that she'd been in the same office for 20 years and she said, oh, I rank when you search for the name of her business, but when you search dentist in her city, not even on the first page, 20 years. She didn't even have her Google My Business page set up. I mean, it blows my mind. I mean, granted, it took me three times of being told to do it, to do it. But once I did it, I'm like, this is ridiculous. Like getting a VA, like, holy cow, every business owner needs one. It should be the first hire you ever have. Um, and uh, Tony, you can go ahead and stop share real quick. I wanna show them what an SE, what, what a website analysis looks like. Cause we do have one. I'm not going to show you who it's for. They're pretty cool people though. So, Oh, their name's on there. Sorry, but here you go. Get an idea here. Here's what, how it's going to come through. You're going to have your overall score where you've passed and failed. Here's your, your rankings, page rankings. It's going to go through every single step of it so that you know what needs to be done. What's, going well again if you if you don't know these things you can't fix these things and you know it's um when you when you look at everything in the world you have to be willing to say honestly to yourself this is a problem let me face this let me fix this issue let me follow it through to the end i because if you leave it on un, undone just like let's say you never go to the dentist ever and you don't brush your teeth eventually what's going to happen you're going to lose all your teeth it's going to be a painful process, but it's going to happen, right? So same thing. You don't want that same painful process with your website because the longer you, you wait to get these things done, the more business you're losing and the longer it's going to take to fix it. So once we have all that, we have the ability to truly amplify everything because 
once you get the Google grants and all the organic SEO done and we get that money rolling in for you, it's just a, a, a one, two combo. Yep. Blessings on blessings on, on blessings. And it's the win-win situation as you give back, get back, et cetera. And I saw one question real quick in the chat. Um, I believe it was saying, can I donate to more than one prof, more than one nonprofit? Absolutely. My favorite one was uh, the little website audit we just went through. One of my friends that's also in the Tony Robbins community named Brian Gray. He has a company called the Dollar Donation Club, and it's a super philanthropy. So they have tons of um, nonprofits that are built in that donates a dollar every single month to them to help out. So one of them is to eliminate a billion pounds of plastic from the oceans. The next main cause they're doing is planting a trillion trees to the same organization as Tony Robbins. Um, uses to plant the trees and then there's more and more so every time they hit the goal they go to the next one and you can apply your nonprofit to be on theirs as well so everyone's sharing and getting to the right people and again we vet the nonprofits as well if you do want to use a particular one to make sure they're credible certified and good to go great question and you want to refer to the chat too joe if you see any other questions or Phyllis and shout out to Brian and Sam and everyone else here I know. So thank you guys for joining. Yes. Yeah, Samantha is here, you know, Gary is here. So this is what we're gonna do. You know, uh, obviously our tradition here is to have breakout rooms, right? So that way everybody can meet with each other with a very uh you know intimate uh setting. So what we're gonna we what we are going to do here is uh, I am going to open up the breakout room for um, for 20 minutes. Okay. Real quick, 20, everybody, okay. before we go to the breakout room, say bye to Facebook. <laughs> bye, bye, Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> bye. Bye, Facebook. <laughs> bye, Facebook. <laughs> All right. Now, now we can keep going. <laughs> awesome. So I am opening up the room. If you are a business owner and strictly if you're not, an, uh, not our VA in our community, you know, we'll love to invite you to room one, to room one. So in that way you can meet with Joe and Adam directly in case if you have any specific question that you want to ask them or just hang out, that is okay. For the rest of you, you know, we want you guys to go into a room from two to 25. Okay. Uh, the rule of thumb is every room should only have uh, five people or less. So if you're the sixth person, go find another room. I want you guys to, you know, share your learning about this nonprofit. And, uh, you know, and again, you know, I strongly suggest that everybody should set up an appointment with them, even if you just get the Google analytic, you know, and see how the website is, you know, SEO based, right? But I do believe that every business should have a nonprofit to maximize their profit and also maximize their impact. Okay. So right now, um, you know, all the business owners uh, and uh, Justin, yes, please go join room one. Okay. So as long as you're not a virtual assistant in our community, go join room one. And everybody else, you know, go into all the rooms. Oh, somebody just closed the breakout room for some reason. So let me reopen it one more time. Uh, give me 53 seconds. <laughs> we do have a lot of co-hosts here. Um, so this is a great way to fill forward. So everybody else, do not touch the breakout buttons. This is why Tony Robbins always say, do not touch anything. Just let us do it. <laughs> um, so uh, there's 36 seconds. Uh, so again, feel free to ask any questions. And then again, if you guys find any questions at all uh, that you find, uh, you know, feel free to you know pass it on to us uh, through the group chat, and then we can do that for you. As for the discovery call, just like they say, you do not have to do anything to schedule the appointment, and then they will take it from there. Uh, and I do see that there's a lot of availability in there. Uh, we still have 14 seconds, 13 seconds. Um, yes, Justin, uh, uh, someone accidentally closed out the breakout room. That's why, you know, I'm very excited right now <laughs> to reopen them so that you guys can join it. So, and Phyllis uh, too. Also, I'll be sharing uh, about a 90 second video to any of the VAs if they do want to use it to share with uh, the CEOs or the decision makers. If you saw some value and you liked it and you wanted to introduce it, you can even send this video to them as well. So, be on the lookout for that here um, after the training. Absolutely. All right. The breakout room is open. So, you know, all the business owners, feel free to go into breakout room one. Everybody else, go find a room that you're comfortable with. Don't hang out with the people that you always hang out with. Okay. So now go. The time, the clock is ticking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Thank you. I'm going to do it on my phone. <laughs>
If you cannot get into the breakout room, let us know and then we will assign you to one. Gary, I'm going to assign you to room one if you haven't done it yet. And Samantha, too. Thank you. I don't see how to do it. <laughs> we are pro at this, so we do this every day. <laughs> so uh, you should be able to see a pop-up and just click join, and then you'll be able to go in. And sure. Julie, I'm going to do that if you're still here. You could give them a, a two-fold win. You could help them get 120 grand a year to spend in advertising. And you can set it up to where your donations go directly to them. Got it. So when I set up the nonprofit arm of the business, I can use my 120K. Car, do you need help? Yeah, I did not receive. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got sure. it. Thank you. Awesome. Thank God for bringing me here in this community and made Boss Phyllis as an instrument to finally achieve my longest dream to become a virtual assistant. And why Phyllis is um, God's instrument for me because she got my back and I consider her as my backbone. If without Phyllis, I'm sure I am jobless now or maybe I'm still working in a corporate world. So I'm very, very thankful to you, boss, for believing in me that I can still do better in this community. This training um, really changed my business life because Boss Fellas training is one of a kind. A very unique community, like no one in online world having this kind of training, right? Would you agree with me? Um, so this really, this coaching really fills in my emotional bank account and it also helps me to be positive all the time. Hi everyone. Um, yeah, my name is Marjorie Cornito. Um, I work as a personal assistant with my team. Um, I'm helping him out with bookkeeping and now about data analysis and many more to come. Surprising task in the future. And there's something that she says that I really love and made me think that this is really the answer to my prayer because she says that you will find your next best client who you don't have to sacrifice your religious belief. And it's what really happening. Um, I'm working with my team, my client right now, who is very understanding, very positive. He even asked me um, what kind of task that I love to work on so that I will enjoy working on it every day. And especially someone who has the same moral standards as mine as well. I would like this opportunity to say thank you so much, Boss Phyllis, for not letting me go, for being patient for me. And to Miss Mo for all the trainings. Um, and also to Jessa, my cousin, for being persistent and telling me to send my application here. I love you so much. And for this program, 
it actually changes a lot especially with my mindset i was actually very negative for this past few months um so this really this coaching really fills in my emotional bank account and it also helps me to be positive all the time and also i love how the other vas shares their skills um i would like to thank you so much for that because your skills really helps a lot on me especially that what i'm working right now is totally different from my previous job so your shares are really appreciated i really love it although it's not related it might be not connected to what i'm working right now but i love hearing all of it and learning all of it and yes if i will be given a chance to attend the monthly coaching i would really love to because i would love to learn more thank you so much i want to share with you that i want to share with you that i really think this service is really going to help you Hi everybody, this is Olivia Gong. I am the founder of Olet Coaching. Also would like to share with you my experience working with Phyllis and her team. Uh, it has been amazing. It started a few months back. It helped me hire this uh, marketing person. Her name is Kate. Uh, Kate has been really amazing. Kate has been very creative, re very responsive. I want to share with you that I really think Phyllis's service is really going to help you. Anything that you want to leverage out, um, that you know, uh, let somebody else take time, take the time assuming task away from you, so you can focus on your core mission, whatever that's irreplaceable. Uh, focus on that. It's so worth it. That that is what um, the most value there is. And also, I want to share with you that um, they had amazing training sessions. I really believe that Phyllis is really undercharging right now for the amazing services that they're providing. I have been having daily calls with Kate to talk about uh, what, what was talked about during the training. And I also watched uh, some training uh, recordings that they did and they were really amazing. I sincerely believe just for the training itself, it's already worth the whole package. Not mentioning that they're gonna help you hire a VA that is gonna be amazing. I believe if you choose uh, to hire a VA, that's gonna transform your business and transform your life. You're gonna love it. Thank you so much. Hey, let me tell you a story about this rock star I know. Her name is Phyllis Song, which is a great name for a rock star, don't you think? She has helped me tremendously in the last few months handling getting virtual assistance. Now you can say, well, I can get a virtual assistant. That's a piece of cake. It's not a piece of cake, number one. And number two, Phyllis does something and her team does something that's totally different than everybody else. They're accountable for the virtual assistant. They train the virtual assistant. And more importantly, they train you. And I've got teams in different countries and different states. And it has been amazing that somebody's helping me hire more people for virtual assistants and then understand what type of person they need, what kind of training they need. I'll give you an example. We use Ring Central for one of our companies and phone systems. Phyllis immediately says, oh, we have a training on that. We'll take care of it. And immediately gets the virtual assistant to learn Ring Central through their training. That is a tip of the iceberg. Do yourself a favor. Go and talk to Phyllis, talk to her team, and start working with them to get your virtual assistants. <laughs> Just to make it more impressive, instead of charging you $15 an hour and paying half of that, the virtual assistant and keeping the spread, they train you and you pay your virtual assistant their salary. It is a gift. Phyllis Song and her team, they're all just a bunch of rock stars and they're a gift. And if you're not using them, don't say I didn't warn you. Thank you very much, Phyllis, for everything. Good luck, everybody else. Hey, what's up everyone? Zachariah here, best-selling author and managing partner at thebookpatch.com, where we've helped authors uh, self-publish over 60,000 books. Um, just wanted to give a quick shout out to 
uh, Phyllis and the VA program she offers. Um, we were hesitant going into it. You know, we've heard about VAs, we've heard what you can do with VAs, but uh, we're always unsure of the like kind of quality that we get once hiring. And then the tr ongoing training that we would need to provide, you know, um, sometimes English is a barrier just from what I've seen just in customer service day to day, but we really needed customer service help. So we uh, trusted Phyllis and what she did and what her program. And I got to say, she absolutely over delivered. We have two absolute rock stars on our team now, and we're only going to keep growing um, and growing the number of employees we hire with Phyllis because of the solid program that she provides for training and support throughout the hiring process. If you ever had any doubts about hiring, um, you know, VAs from the Philippines, Phyllis, this program can absolutely put your mind to rest. Just for example, we've almost doubled in profits um, just from integrating a super rock solid customer support team and that's all thanks to Phyllis and Phyllis's program. So if you want to check us out, you can check us out at thebookpatch.com.